Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. My name is Brinton. Last time, we were introduced to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and also ran around and did some goodies that were opened up to us because we told Menphilia that we would lend her our power of the Echo to aid the Scions of the Seventh Dawn against the threat of the primals. So in this episode, we are going to be primarily focusing on the main scenario quest. Like I was mentioning last week, I realized that there are quite some things that I want to do that have not been unlocked to me yet because I haven't been focusing on the main scenario. So that is what this episode is going to be. And it is just that. Anyway, let us go ahead and speak with Menphilia to start the next, um, quest. We Scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Scout. I will go whither the wild rose blooms. A wild rose by any other name. Menphilia is waiting to hear whether or not you will pledge your support to the Scions at a seventh dawn, and it doesn't look like... I'm just, the last time I grabbed a piece of gear from these options, it didn't benefit me, so I'm just going to do Alagambra on pieces next time. Anyway, let's accept our allegiance to the Scion of the Seventh Dawn. I take it you will help us. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man, Kirin Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Linsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I'm glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, 
Those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Berianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Son's mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Mm, and this is where the story gets super, super, super good. Um, because you just... Ah, uh, uh, it's... I'm just so excited. I can't... I'm so happy that I finally get to be a part of the Science of the Seventh Dawn, and the story is really going to start moving from here. So, plus, some of my favorite characters have now been introduced into Scout's adventure. But anyway, before I start, um, before my head starts to explode, let's go ahead and speak to Thancred. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes, which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Aminja and Sons Mineral Concern have a double security on all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. Uh, of course they would be near Camp Drybone, because I totally didn't just spend a good chunk of last episode there. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Okay, let's speak to Isambard at Camp Drybone. Oh, it's also going to complete the quest. But let's go ahead and teleport over to Camp Drybone because it will be easier than walking. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Isambard is up and over here. Yeah, I did that love quest. I did that last week. Why am I forgetting about it? 
I, I'm Inzibard, here to search for the missing folk, I take it? When Felia sent word that an adventure fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the Amalja. It seems we know who the culprits are, at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to see me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victim safely return. And bronze pieces. And the quest is complete. Unsolved mystery. Uh, Isambard of Camp Drybone is seeking to help solve a mystery of missing persons. Well, let's figure out where they are. Let us get right to it then. Venfila names the Almalja culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by Amalja hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Amata Landama, um, innocents wishing no more to pay their respects to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see the deed before a mongrels catch their scent, but I know not if the Amalja still linger. Would you secure the remains for me, friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the Amalja seek in this area. Alright then, it looks like I need to go in that. Oh wow, they are... Why are their remains just like hanging out all the way over here? That seems rather rude. <sighs> Anyways, let... Okay, it looks like I need to go up this path. Uh, Drybone is like super difficult for me to navigate for some strange reason. Um, I mean, this is not going to be the first. Obviously, this isn't going to be the first time we, that we come here or the only time that we come here. Um, we're going to be spending... Periodically, we're going to be spending a decent amount of time in Drybone, and for some reason, I can just never figure out how to navigate myself around it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it looks like we're going to be fighting some monsters. Oh, okay. Well, that answers my question about whether or not the Amalder are in on this. I'm going to thunder you before I transpose into fire. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a strong hit. Taking these guys out super quick. Oh, they're only level 12 too. What the heck? Okay, we'll get wrecked. A ripe corpse. Corpse. Yummy. Not yummy. That's disgusting. Um, I'm just going to pick up these corpses. No big deal. Okay, deliver the corpses to Isambard at Camp Drybone. So a lot of these quests right now in our investigation are going to be pretty short and simple and to the point. Um... To be completely honest, if I do these quite swiftly, I won't... Um, actually, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil that, so I'll actually keep my mouth shut. But let's just say that if I'm quick enough, I may get to a certain point in the game. That would be a good s stopping point for next week. Anywho, is it good to see you returned? Were you able to, to secure the remains of our fallen? Yes, I was. With the bodies given back proper to the earth, the souls will find their way across to the other side. You have done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what did the Amalja? Did you see any? Certainly such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. Oh no, we saw them, and we wrecked them. Ah, so there were Amalja remaining. After all, I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there is more than more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Omalja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great, and the questions too many. It would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this. But whose? Countless travelers pass through Drybone every day, and even if it were among were and even if it were among them, how would we discover who may be um, implicit in these vanishings? Well, we just gotta 
figure that out. What Poor People Think Isambard aims to turn his investigation to the common folk. What say we turn an eye to the common folk themselves? It may be among them that we find the reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it be so. There is a merchant by the name of Ungust who was born here in Drybone but grew up in the Golden Bazaar, a rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the inn uh, quaffing away the day's earnings. Here, I'll write a note for you to show him he's, um, unless he's not like to speak to you. <laughs> oh, okay, this is just right across the courtyard. That is beautifully easy. Um, okay, ungust, ungust. Oh, there we go. He's just down here in this little bar. Hello, friend. Well, gods be damned. You're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Old Ah. Oh, that is rather awkward. <laughs> what the seven hells do you want with me now? Will you be my friend? <laughs> Dear friend, missing people, please help. Yours is Embard. Folk around here are as wary as they come, though turn tail and run if so much as past wind nearby. Uh, played them for all fools and coaxed them hard labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances, you can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. <sighs> Alright, that's fine with me because you're dr very drunk. So it would probably be easier if I were just to talk to people like the Hungry Beggar, which is such an unfortunate name. Please, sir, just leave me be. Oh. Okay. Gonna be honest, was not expecting that. Devious Dyerlic. These are such horrible names. <laughs> I've nothing to say but this. Thal take who or whatever's been feeding us off low folk. Oh, okay, bye. Uh, petrified Popper. So that means this person is rock solid. But not, because obviously they're moving. Wh what do you want from me? I d d don't know anything, I swear. Please don't kill me. Oh. Okay, well, Ungust, you better be a little bit more cooperative and or sober, because that yielded, like, nothing. No help whatsoever. I went in the wrong door. I totally went in the wrong door. Okay. Can I go through? Oh, for the love of God. Okay, well, I know. Oh, yeah, I totally went into the wrong side of the building. It's over here. My bad. Can't be too mad at myself. I did that very on purpose. Okay, Ungust. I need your help, dude. Just as I told you, was it? The whole lot of them are terrified. Okay, your point's been proven. Now what? There's been talk of folk getting abducted. If you ask me, they simply up and moved on to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. Okay, bye. Hopefully we never have to speak to him again, because that was hella awkward. Anywho, let us go speak with Ezimbard. Welcome back, Scout. Have you learned aught of import? I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the so glory, um, wow, hold on, I lost my place, may know something of good use. All right, awesome, I have, sorry, I got distracted because something popped up on my screen. But I have absolutely no idea if it got caught in the recording, so it, if it did, I am truly sorry. Anywho, let's continue on by speaking with Isambard again. A proper burial. Um, yeah, this is... yeah, I guess what we're wearing is better. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, apparently... 
our level 15 body armor is better than this level 15 body armor. So I guess we will continue to get... Oh, silver piece this time. Um, Isambard would like you to learn what you can from the... Uh, so from, from the religious folks, because I can't pronounce that word. If we would know what the common folks seek of their gods, we've no better place to ask than the Church of St. Amada Landama. It is a small and humble church found on the northwest of here. And so long you, and uh, so long as you headed there, I might ask you to deliver the embalmed corpse. A morbid request I grant you, but it must be born and to burial. And I trust none more than you to see it done. So you got a man named Marquis. He tends to the graves of the lichyard. He will let you know where the body is to be interred. That is such a honorable request um, of him to ask of us to take the bodies of his um, beloved friends and bring them to the church for proper burial. So I feel immensely honored to be able to do that. Anywho, the church is right up here. Nice, simple, and easy. It's where the uh, bowfly swarms are that I was taking out for the hunting log last week. Uh, let's go ahead and speak with this man. I am Marquise, yes. A body? Of course. There have, there, there have been so many bodies of late. I apologize, sir. If you seek a place of burial, then there is an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay to rest there. Cool. So it looks like... Oops. Can I jump up on this rock? <laughs> oh, no. I'm also going the wrong way again. Well, good thing my sprint is off cooldown because I... Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, there was a path right there. That was very confusing. Let's go ahead and lay to rest this embalmed corpse. Uh, oh, now I gotta bury it. And report back to our new friend. Yeah, the shadows totally deterred me. I didn't realize that was an arc. Anyway, arch, not arc. May they all walk in Thelm's realm. What? Missing people? Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. But maybe Sister Orison can. She has been kind to me. Everyone, everyone has been so kind. I don't know why, though. I... Pardon me, you will find Sister Orison within the church walls. Thanks, dude. I highly appreciate that. Oh, there she is. I hear you have done us a service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Isambard when you see him next. Hmm? You seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants? It is true I am closer to the people than any other of the order. I confide in them, and they in me. When they wish to speak of their keeper Thal, I am the medium through which they do so. Should I learn anything pertinent, I will be more to share the information with you. <sighs> I only wish Marquis would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. While tragic, I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visit visitors, a man they called Thancred, I believe, took offense to his, at his conduct. I must have words with Marquise and soon. All right then. Well, <laughs> in the few attempts that we have tried to make so far, to figure out what is going on with the residents of Camp Drybone. We are definitely coming up dry, which that is not a very good joke, but let's go ahead and report to Isambard and just let him know that we're not really getting anywhere with this investigation. If anything, I feel like we're just running into a dead end every time we talk to somebody new that he sends us to. Hopefully we can find 
Hopefully we can get a lead soon. Thank you, Scout. A burial was no easy thing, even with the departed as a stranger. Were you able to learn aught of the missing common folk? You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Scout? My pleasure, my dear Isambard. The name is Thancred, and I share a passion with you and your mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. I, too, spoke with Angust, more times than I can care to count. There seems to be some truth to his notion of the common folk speaking their secrets only to those in service to the gods. Uh, prostration, prayer, penance. Object deeds done behind closed doors, uh, away from prying guys. Who better to take pious awares, unawares than he she takes confession? The good sister Orison herself. Orison? She wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you would be wise to keep an eye to this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marquis. I'd swear to the Twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. And Silver Piece complete. Wait, where did Thancred go? He was like legit standing right next to us. For the children. Yeah, even like some of the gear that they are giving us right now, def like I'm wearing what I'm wearing is better, is what I'm trying to say. So anywho, let us where we yeah, we're still pretty good on time. Um, and it looks like we're gonna get another silver piece. So for the children. Isn't Barton concerned about the questions surrounding Sister Orison's integrity? Sister Orison, it cannot be. Though she is, won't want to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her, on her own, and it's not uncommon to see her speaking to the children. But no, it could not be. She, could it? Hmm. <sighs> I grew weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular she is fond of. Pray seek out the Boy Scout and see if you cannot glean something from him about Orison's activities. Okay, so we need to speak to the uncombed urchin in the Golden Bazaar. These are like horrible, horrible, horrible names. Where is the Golden Bazaar? Oh, it's all the way up there. Dang. Um, well, I can guarantee you, because I opened up the... Oh, did I open up the Chocobo Porter in this area? I should have. Um, actually, no, I don't. I haven't. Hold on. I know I'm also going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, Chocobo Keep. Totally did not do this one yet. Well, I'm going to open up to Chocobo Keep then real quick. And then I'm going to have to do the one at the Golden Bazaar too. Because there was one on the way into that little compound. No, nah, I wouldn't really be called a compound. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. I just, I can't seem to get my bearings straight. So this is super, super fun to watch. <laughs> but once, oh, I still got like 20 seconds left until I can use Sprint again. But anyway, I will unlock the Chocobo Keep and make my way down to Camp Drybone via Chocobo once I am done with my investigations in the Golden Bazaar. No, thank you. I do not want to participate in this fate. I didn't even know there was one there to begin with because I don't really pay attention to the mini-map all that much, <laughs> or not as not as much as I should be. Anywho, this road should take us, yeah, this road takes us to the Golden Bazaar. So we should be good to go here in a couple of seconds. Or not, because I didn't realize how long this road to the Golden Bazaar was going to be. So many Earth Sprites on our way. Anywho. Okay, perfect. I'm about... Yep, I can see the um, the quest marker to unlock the Chocobo. Here we go. Golden Bazaar. I need to talk with you and call that good and make my way up into here. There he is. 
What an unfortunate name for this child. Please help. Sister Arson went out on her own and she hasn't come back. She's always She always reads to me right here about Thal and the Order and the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and she went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. Alright, sounds like we're gonna go and help out Sister Orison. Uh, hopefully she is not who we think she is, or else this will be extremely awkward um, afterwards. At least it's not a full-on duty, because... Not sure I want to do a full-on duty right now. Anyway. What the hell? Oh, it is... Our lovely zombie friends. Anyway. Ow, stop throwing thunder at me, rude. That's better. You, you are the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. You spoke with the child. Yes, well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It is a ring given to him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safely back to him. Are you, are you sure you don't need an escort, my good friend? Oh my gosh. Oh, now we got to report to Isambard. Okay, well, I'm just going to be lazy, and I'm going to teleport for 100 gil and not use my free ticket, because 100 gil right now is... Not that big of a deal to me. Okay, cool. That was nice and swift because I was not going to run all the way back here, being completely honest. <laughs> Sister Orison was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar. Gods for Fend. I will secure a room in the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for the memories of orf well, mementos of orphans and risking her own well-being well -being in the doing no less, certainly not the dastardly deed Sancred would have us believe. Does not appear to be so, Isambard. Oh, I hit level 23! Sweet! I'm okay with that. Omalja wrong places. <laughs> That's a pun. Anyway. Oh, wow. This is a good head... This is a good piece of headgear that I definitely could use. Um, I'll pick it up just in case in the event I find a better chest piece and then I will be able to put this on because this one forbids me from wearing any headgear for the time being. So I'll pick this up just for, just in case when the time comes. Um, Isambard seems to have a message for you from Thancred. I am well glad I reserved that in room for Sister Orison. It seems she received greater injuries from her attacks than she initially led on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now, on to the matter at hand. Thancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amalja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. Okay, sweet. It sounds like Thancred may have found out. have He has a lead, obviously. So, dang, that is... Oh, yeah. The Amalja encampment is that far away. Well, you know what? It's fine. A little running is not going to hurt us, and this area isn't too super huge, so we'll be there in like a minute or so. Because I am looking forward to figuring out the causes of these disappearances and what's going on because the Amalja definitely have some sort of contribution to what's happening here. Oh, I thought, yeah, I was like, I thought I could jump higher than that. Oh yeah, I've totally been in this encampment as well for a Thaumaturge uh, du uh, class duty. Thancred had him by a tree. Ah, there you are, Scout. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about good Sister Orison. Isambard said her wounds were serious, 
it would seem my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false though they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following, following Sister Orison near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amalja caught my eye. I tracked him as far as this encampment. But, well, let's say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear scout. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? I guess so? All right, then. Um, let's attack this guy so that way we can get past him without an issue. Oh, okay. Bye, whoever just ran by me. Oh, crud. I did not mean to do Blizzard. That was a... Uh, that was a nice little accidental waste. Okay, back to fire. At least I'm getting some good hits on these dudes. Oh! Found what I was trying to look for. Get some thunder on you just to help me out here. I'm gonna switch over to Blizzard just in case. Sweet. Hopefully nobody sees me. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get out of here as quickly as we can then. Since we found what it was that Thancred wanted us to look for. Dude, you could have easily have done that by yourself. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? We found this queer leaflet. This leaflet. See the wealth of Nald to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. This lettering, though, atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Nathal, um, Nathal, seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Pray take this to do the inn at Camp Drybone. Let us see what Sister Orison makes of it. All right, sounds good to me. We'll just head back over to Camp Drybone. In fact, I'm going to be lazy again. And teleport over there, because... Lazy. Okay. And then the inn is going to be in this room. This place over here. Wrong door yet again, Brinton. Yet again. Here we go. My savior comes again. To what do I owe the honor this day? Let's hand over this leaflet. What is this? Blasphemous. These are not teachings at all. This is... This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago, the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the order to deceive the people? Sounds like it. The plot thickens, Scout. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. There is no doubt an irony in there somewhere. But I suspect that we have a worthy adversary in our hands. I should consider how best to handle this. For now, tell Ezenbard of what we had learned here. At least Isambard is just right around the corner. Um, oh, the sun's coming out. Beautiful dawn is breaking this sunny uh, Thanaland day. Posing as a priest, the think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to find finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Scout. I shall keep my ears and eyes open now more than ever. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm like having small little hiccups. Anyway, grab the mask and dressed to deceive. Um, 
I'm going to have this opened here really quick. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping that this could be a chess piece that we could snag. Because this is this was the one that we would need for uh, the class that I am in. But it's not going to do us any good. Um, how unfortunate. Anyway, I just need to check something super, super quick about this mission. Um... Because it's actually going to determine what else we do in this episode before we finish it off. Okay, yes, perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. So, let's continue. Dressed to deceive. Isambard wants to help you identify and apprehend the false priest. It sounds like we're going to be doing a solo duty. <laughs> I'm afraid I have not seen any unusual activity nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon, more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Your suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let scout and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to, um, I'm next to useless in battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs, so long as you don't mind the smells and the stains. These will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Scout. As the lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more Van Grants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don old garments Isambard has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest would catch wind and approach us. All right then, this is getting quite interesting. So speak with locals while garbed in a weathered shepherd's tunic and a pair of weathered shepherd's slops. So we need to put that on and that on, perfect. And now we can see our haircut again, which we haven't seen in like the longest time. But anyway, let's speak with um, locals while we're wearing this. I preach the teachings of Azima, the warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? Azima is keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine continence. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt, um, shalt want for naught till the end of days. All right. Um, we'll talk to this flame captain over here. Hmm? And you are huh, another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for your like. Be gone and see to it you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Rude. It looks like somebody is in the um, inn, I think. Yeah, need to talk to this dude next. Huh. And I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. Dang. These people are so rude to refugees. That, like... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my old dog, but... There are definitely some flaws um, amongst these people. That is for absolute certain sure. Um, I told... Oh. I need to go around this way. Of course. Um because I have no idea where the other two are. Oh, there's one of them. What is it? God's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomsoever you like. Why don't you keep your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours at Drybone? Rude. Jeez, what is up with people? And... Oh, dang. 
everybody is just being so rude to poor little old me. And I found the last one. How incredibly lucky for me. Greetings, good sir. Is there aught I might assist you with? Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid your wares are very expensive. May help you should rejoin your fellows at the pond north of Sandgate. Gee, such segregation for the from the refugees. So rude. You have a quick you have quite a knack for being a nuisance scout. The camp is abuzz with talk of newly arrived uh, vagrants. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn about the poor that have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate, to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities did not reach the place, rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. All right then, let's... Oh, that's not too far away from here. And Sprint is off cooldown, so I can just run over there as quickly as I can. Okay, here we go. Kind of took a roundabout way to get out of Camp Drybone, but we are in the right direction to meet up with Sancred and possibly um, take care of the threat to these poor refugees. That's such a cool stone s spire caused by the calamity that rocked the land five years ago. Just wanted to make notice of that because I thought it was very beautiful. Um, okay, gotta go up and around it looks like. Good thing I can like jump ridiculously high or else there was no way I was gonna make that boulder. A fine morning for catching false priests, what do you say? You look absolutely smashing, Scout. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left, then, is to wait for our quarry to, to appear. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live. No way at all. Who are you? What do you want? Be at ease, child. I mean, you no harm. I am priest of the Order of Nathal. Uh, Nalthal, and I come to, to offer you succor. This leaflet bears the teachings of Nald. Uh, trust to them, and they will surely set you free from, from the shackles of punery. Hmm. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you would have made a god's awful mummer, Angust. What? what? How did you know? You bastards tricked me. Why does this not shock me? Please don't hurt me. I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. Very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar, raised there if not born. Some moons ago, the Amalja raids began. They would appear sudden as a sandstorm and plunder and pillage at will. Our defenders couldn't stand against them, few as they were. Everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. And so I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amalja in hopes of brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands. Outrageous ones. Demands? Of what kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted to schedule for crystal shipments from the Na, 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 Na one mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next, they wanted me to bring some people, so I posed as a priest to learn the vulnerable and give them over to the Amalja. I, I didn't have a choice. Protecting one's home is a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence? You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you're not telling me the full story. What made you sell at your own people? Speak. The... was good. 
What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a score of lifetimes and not even see a fraction of what the Amalja pay me. You sacrifice innocence so that you can line your own pockets? Words fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me your, con your contempt. If you want to blame someone for the mess the world's in, then blame yourselves for... or the gods. Ugh, not you again. Were you the one leaking the Immortal Flames patrol routes to the enemy as well? Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that, I swear it. At this stage, I'm rather disclined to believe aught that leaves your mouth. But no matter, there'll be time enough to learn the truth. Sob. Scout, be a good man and take word of these developments to Menphilia, would you? I shall prize everything I can out of this filth. I can out of this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. And I'm totally putting back on. Yep, I'm totally putting back on my um what's it called? Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even participate in the fate, so I couldn't necessarily fail it game. Anywho, I am going to, where is it? Oh yeah, it's in Western Thanalan. I am going to head back to the Waking Sands where I will speak with Menophilia. So I will actually meet you guys there. Hello again, my lovelies. Here we are at the entrance of the Solar, where we shall speak with Menphilia about our investigation and all that we found. Welcome back, Scout. I am pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. I see. You've done well to uncover the truth. Thanks for the report. As, Thanc as Thancred said, we must ascertain where the abducted were taken, and none but the Omaja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. Um, that's not... none of this is going to help me, so Alligan Bronze piece it is. Life, materia, and everything. That is the next main scenario quest. However, now that we have completed Dressed to Deceive, there is actually a feature quest that is finally open to us that I would like to show where, where it has been unlocked. And I'm hoping that the information that I was reading is correct um, because it will be something that we will do Yes, okay, perfect. So the next feature quest that I wish to unlock is this one. Nedric from Nedric Ironheart, titled Hello, Halatali. Um, all right, again, nothing here that I can take, so I guess I'm going to have some bronze pieces. Um, but I'm going to decline this for right now, because that is going to get into me talking about some things about the game that I unfortunately just don't have time for since we are now running out of time for this episode of Final Fantasy XIV. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Um, we were able to uncover the culprit of the disappearings and now we must seek out the Amalja and discover where it is that they are taking the innocence that Ungust pretty much sold um, for money. So if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week's episode where we'll figure out where these poor defenseless refugees have been taken. And we're also going to talk to Nedric and complete the Hollow Halatali quest as well. Thank you again for watching. My name is Brenton and I will catch you all next week for more Final Fantasy XIV. And I'll see you all then. Bye!